more. This must be a familiar look at this point because I wear this blue robe all the time. Uh, going in with this AHC Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's got triple hyaluronic acid and ceramides, so it's super hydrating. I really didn't expect too much out of this, but um, I'm actually really liking it. So I'm just going to go in with two layers of this because it's fall and my skin needs more hydration. All right, so after this, I'm going to try making some spinach banana muffins. I thought it would just be like a good healthy-ish breakfast. I think it's going to be really healthy. So yeah. today's going to be the first day I'm testing out the Summer Fridays Vitamin C Serum. Stay tuned, but this is truly my first impression. How do you even open this? Oh, there you go. Spin it around and then let's see. Ooh, it's got a milky, silky texture. Uh, doesn't really have a strong scent or anything. So far, I really like how it applies on the skin. So that was day one and let's just keep using it throughout the week and see how it helps because I do have some brightness in my cheeks. So hoping that helps calm it down. Okay, now let's go to the kitchen and bake. Right. So these are all the ingredients for the spinach banana muffin. Um, I'm gonna make it into a, you know, a loaf actually because I don't have a muffin dish, but all right, so we're just gonna put all of these ingredients into this little pan and I'm going to first use my um, Ninja to blend everything together. Oats first. And then we're gonna add in some milk. Today we're gonna to use all almond milk for this. So one cup of milk in here, one egg. Some recipes say two, but I'm just gonna go in with one egg because I already added a lot of milk in there. Add in my banana. Then let's add in the spinach. So I have these spinach frozen it's from Trader Joe's. Good. And then key ingredient here is actually adding some olive oil in here. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit because olive oil is just so good for reducing fat. So I love using olive oil, a lot of olive oil in anything. This bottle can go very quick. So don't be scared of your oils. Adding some honey. I'm just trying to get rid of all of this honey at this point because I'm probably not going to buy another Trader Joe's. I just want to try more organic honeys out there. Try to add in some collagen powder whenever I can, whether it's in like a smoothie, whether it's in my drinks or muffins. This is like when you try to put in like greens to your um, kids' um, drinks. This is what I do to make sure I can add in plenty of collagen. Put in a little bit of vanilla extract. Soda. Soda. Oh, look at that spinachy goodness. Okay. Wow, be careful. It's really watery. Really watery. Okay, so wait for my delicious loaf to bake up. I'm gonna catch up on some work right here and then have my beverages. So I always start off my day with a hot lemon tea. It really just starts off my metabolism. It's really good for your immune system. And the thing is I just love drinking hot beverages to start my morning off. And on days when I'm just like lazy to make my own matcha latte, I already cooked. So today is the day when I'm gonna go in with my pressed juicery. Um, matcha oat milk. Um, this is not sponsored or anything, but I just truly, truly love this drink. I love oat milk in my drinks. So the fact that they came out with a matcha oat milk drink in one and it's for $5, pretty damn revolutionary. So I had to do my work and read a little bit and I just munch on a bag of blueberries because they're so good. <laughs> and fruits are what I eat in the morning time. I try not to have them too much throughout the day, but it's a great kickstart. Okay, okay, so now we have to taste test this. I actually just put it in the oven for like 40 minutes, but that was too short. So I just ended up putting it in for an entire hour. So I'm super hungry right now. Mmm, not bad. Not bad, guys. I can really taste the banana and the oats a little bit. Wow, I'm so impressed. Yeah, I'm the type of person who just eats out of the loaf pan directly. Mm, look at this gooeyness. Oh my god. Mmm. 
so good guys I'm gonna have to eat this whole thing now so happy all right so I'm gonna eat this as like a breakfast brunch because it's already kind of late now and then have some snacks get a smoothie and then I'm gonna go to my facial I'm so excited about the facial it's by face house the Upper East Side so I'm gonna trek over there get my little facial because my skin just Feels a little dull lately. I'm in the Upper East Side, about to get a facial, absolutely zero makeup, just have some SPF in, and then let's go again. All right, we're at Face House right now, and I'm with Catlin here, esthetician. We're gonna start our facial now. So this is my skin before. Just close your eyes and take two deep breaths. Everybody kicking it, we out here and we making it So put your hands in the air if you with the shits, whoa, whoa, whoa Shout out to the people who are keeping it lit Drink a little more and smoke a little more Everybody come through and do our hit show jelly mask from their mask bar and they have five different kinds of masks and I chose the volumizing one to give a lift effect for my face and it's so bright red <laughs> how long do we put this on for? this stays on for about 15 minutes 15 minutes last finishing touches okay, 15 minutes and we're taking this off So satisfactory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> It was about 30, 35 minutes. Um, super relaxing. I think I like fell asleep a little bit at one point during the mask, but I like how my skin is plump now. I applied a little bit of SPF over this and I'm gonna head out now. All right, just wanted to stop on here as I'm doing my makeup to go out. I actually have the podcast on on the founders of Allbirds. Um, I love business and fashion podcasts, so I'm gonna pause that for a second. Um, yeah, I was doing my makeup because I have to rush out for um, some errands. I wanted to pop by Suzanne to do some outfit try-ons. So I'll show you guys those soon too. My base on, I have some bronzer on. And I was using this palette from RMS. It's got the bronzer, highlighter, and all of that. So I only use the um, bronzer and highlighter, which, you know, it's pretty good. I love using a double fiber brush to brush it out. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just wanted to hop on here to give you my thoughts on the Face House facial. So it was complimentary for me um, before tips and gratuity. And it's $65 usually for like a 35 minute treatment. That's how long I was there for. And would I pay $65 to go back again to get that same exact facial? The answer is probably no, because I really felt like most of the things that they did there, I can do at home. Um, it's luxury of being a fa doing a facial, but then again, it took me like 30 minutes to get there and back so But it was cool because we got to steam my face We did some exfoliation and we did some rub cool rubber mask So I think after any kind of rubber mask your skin is going to come out looking really good like the Dr. Jerry rubber mask, you know, so Something that I can easily do at home. It's a luxury of going to a facialist and just lying down and letting them do their work on you. I will say after that, my skin was very plump um, to the point where like I barely had to put on any kind of foundation or concealer. Like I'm wearing zero foundation right now, just a little bit of um, concealer. That's pretty much it. So 
right after facials that's pretty common you know like your skin is very dewy plumpy so overall like i had a pretty positive experience in the fact that like my skin is looking very good um the only thing is like the esthetician that worked on me like i wasn't super impressed because she didn't really seem to know that much honestly about my skin in general because i wanted a skin consultation that's part of it and like she was just like oh your skin doesn't seem dry it doesn't seem dehydrated it doesn't seem like nothing so i was like okay so what what does my skin look like you know she just like couldn't even like analyze it correctly and couldn't even like i don't know it was just like kind of like bleh by that part of it but Anyways, you guys want an honest opinion, so I provide my honest opinion. I love going to facials, not too often, but I do love them. So it's a little treatment to myself, but I would not pay for it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna continue finishing this makeup look and then I will cut back. All right, we are now in Soho, my favorite neighborhood, and I'm gonna walk towards one of my favorite stores here. So it's like the prettiest little store here. Look at these olive shorts. They're so cute. They ignore the stockings, but I'm in love with these shorts. And then I would think it'd be super cute to pair it with like a white cardigan like this. And just tuck it back like that. And then styled like this. So cheap. I'm digging this outfit. Guys, what do you think? And then this can be worn the other side, so it will just be like that. And then you have this in the back. Um, but I think you can just wear like a little um, cami underneath it and then wear it like a cardigan like this. Next outfit is this really oversized cardigan. This color is gorgeous. It is the softest thing ever. Paired with these olive um, shorts again. I really like this look. Um, it's so soft. The only thing is I feel like I have to wear a cami underneath this. But either way I can pair it with the jeans or just this. It's so cheek. I want this. Right, so the next outfit is a blue outfit change. We got some really cute luxury looking blue with some animal printish things and then we got some suede navy shorts i don't love the ribbon here i need to figure out a better way to hang it but overall like this whole look is very sexy i'm really really digging this blue gosh what do we do this is like the color of like my bridesmaid dresses almost so i love this color personally a little torn right now guys help me do we go for the cockies or the blue-ish sheen? Next outfit, I have this silk um, shirt in this camel color. I'm actually liking this color a lot more now. Um, and then I still paired it with the navy shorts. I actually like the camel navy combo. It's pretty sexy. What do you guys think? I think this is one of my favorites, actually. God damn, it's hard. I swear, this is the last outfit combination. I still have that camel shirt. I have my gold necklace as an accent, and then I'm back to the cocky shorts. Do you think this is a better combo than the navy shorts right there? I think so. I'm like really digging this outfit. Last outfit is the best, right? But the Jill Stewart event, the Cross History Hotel, we're here for the Princess Collection. Sitting because of all these gorgeousness. I mean, guys, look at that. Oh, man. Everyone's getting their princess collection done. <gasps> Hello! Okay guys, I feel like it's been a really long day. I'm finally home. It's like almost, um, it's 8.45 p.m. right now. And I'm just trying to eat some dinner. But while I was in Chinatown today, I picked up some pork buns. These are like my absolute favorite. They were um, $1.50 for this big pork bun. So that's going to be half my dinner today. Oh god. Here's the spot. You guys enjoy following me today on this journey and I'll see you guys next time.